So welcome to part two of how to solve the 5x5 Rubik's Cube. At this point you should have four centers completely solved and should have two centers that are not solved. And at this point you should still try and make your 3x1 blocks in order to solve the centers. However, for these last two centers it's a little bit more difficult in certain situations to form these 3x1 blocks. So I'm going to tell you what to do in these difficult situations. Um, so here we have the situation where you're only having one piece or one corner piece missing, missing from each center. All right? And what I like to do for this situation is to place one missing piece in the top right corner of the center and the other missing piece I'm going to place in the bottom right corner. All right? So this is in the bottom right and this is in the top right. And at this point you could bring the red corner piece to the red side of the cube now I'm going to rotate this top side counterclockwise. Now I got to I screwed up the right side by doing that, so I got to bring the right side back. And notice when I bring the right side back, I have a three by one uh, block that's red, and I have a three by uh, by one block that's white. So at this point, it's really easy to solve these last two centers. You want to you want to place this three by one vertically below another three by one red block and once you do this you can place the red block on the red side of the cube get all of these red pieces out of the way so we can bring the right side back and whenever you do this you will solve the red side and the white side simultaneously alright so here we have a situation where a two by one block is missing from the white side of the cube and a two by one block is missing from the red side of the cube. And in this situation, what I like to do is to place the two by one, by one block vertically directly below a three by one block. So notice how this red two by one block is vertically directly below a vertical three by one block. And at this point, you can bring this red two by one block to the red side of the cube. Now we screwed up the left side of the cube when we did this, so we got to bring the left side back. Uh, but before we do that, we want to lose the least amount of red pieces from the red side of the cube. Um, so notice if I rotate this like so, once I bring the left side back, I'm only going to lose one red piece. So that's good. If you only lose one red piece, that, that's a good thing. So when I bring the, uh, the left side back, I'm only going to lose this one red piece and the other three are going to come back and at this point you should only have one corner piece that's missing from the from each side of the cube and you could use the same sequence of moves which I taught you earlier in this video you want to place one corner piece on the top right corner you want to place the other corner piece in the bottom right corner um, now you can bring the red corner piece to the red side of the cube rotate it counterclockwise bring the right side back and now we have a 3 by one block. We want to place it vertically directly below another 3 by one block. Now we can bring the red block to the red side of the cube. Get all the red pieces out of the way before we bring the right side back. And now we have solved both sides of the cube and all our centers are solved. Alright, so here we have a situation where we're missing one edge piece from each center. And what I like to do for one side, I like to rotate it so that it is shaped like a U. Notice how this side is somewhat shaped, shaped like a U. And I like to rotate the other side so it is shaped somewhat like a C. Alright, so once you position both centers like so, you can bring this red edge piece to the red side of the cube. Notice how we screwed up the right side of the cube when we did that. Um, so when we bring the right side back, we want to lose the least amount of red pieces from the red side of the cube. So if I just rotate this clockwise, when I bring the right side back, I'm only going to lo lose this one red piece. All right, so that's a good thing. If we only lose one red piece, and when I bring the right side back, our three red pieces come back. And at this point, you're only missing one corner piece from each center. Once again, I've already taught you how to, how to solve this. I'm going to place one on the top right 
uh, part of the uh, the side that it's on, and the other one I'm going to place on the bottom right corner of the side that it's on. And at this point, you should bring the red corner to the red side of the cube, rotate it counterclockwise. Now we screwed up the right side, so we got to bring the right side back. We want to place this vertical 3x1 block directly underneath another vertical 3x1 block. When we do that, we screwed up the right side of the cube once we bring it to the red side, so we got to get those red pieces out of the way, and now we can bring the red side back. So now you should have a better idea of how to solve the last two centers of the cube. I hope you're finding these tutorials helpful, and I will see you in part three.